Hey there, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I just want to take 30 seconds of your time before we get into the video in case someone has stumbled across this video randomly and doesn't realize what the context is. This is a playlist of videos teaching you how to build a FPV, first person view freestyle or racing drone from start to finish. If you've stumbled in in the middle, Go down to the video description, there's a playlist link, start at the beginning of the playlist and work your way through. If you are working your way through this video, I want to remind you that there is a Discord server, a Discord chat server uh, for Quad Camp Online. There's a channel over there where we provide support uh, for the people who are working through this project. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the YouTube comments, absolutely, but if you need a little bit more real-time help, you maybe will get better luck over in the Discord server. Link in the video description. I also want to remind you, thanks to Rotor Riot for helping make this project a reality. And if you are thinking of working your way through this project, you can get all of the equipment for, to build the quadcopter in just one credit card swipe from the Rotor Riot store. Yeah, you can buy the stuff elsewhere as well. One piece here, one piece there. Pay too much for shipping. Accidentally buy the wrong thing. You get it all. And there's a link to that down in the video description. On with the video. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the ESC. We're gonna set aside this mounting hardware here. Don't worry about that for now. And we're gonna get these standoffs. If you purchase this build from Rotor Riot, it will come with an accessory kit that includes some of the miscellaneous hardware you need to finish the build. Uh, that includes these small screws, which are used for mounting the flight control stack. If you've purchased this stuff elsewhere, then you'll need to source these on your own. On the underside of the frame, there are two sets of holes for mounting the flight control stack. These inner set of holes is for a 20 millimeter flight controller, which we don't have. The outer set of holes is what we're gonna use. And you'll see that the inner set of holes is drilled for an M2 screw. The outer set of holes is drilled for an M3 screw. And that's what we're gonna use. So we're just gonna insert that down in there and it'll come through to the other side. Then I'll take one of the standoffs that came with the ESC and we will just install it on that screw like so. When you're done, you'll have all four standoffs installed. And you'll go ahead and install the ESC. And what you need to know is that the front of the quadcopter is this section with four holes here. This section with the extra little holes here is the back and there's one, two, three, four holes across the back. So this is the back and this is the front and we're going to install the ESC with these little tabs for the battery lead facing to the left and this port here facing to the right. So these right here, these motor, this is where we're going to solder the motor wires and that is going to be facing front and back. Make sure you get that correct. It's going to be a real hassle to change this later if you don't get it correct. What I want you to do now is open up the flight controller and I just want you to take these bottom standoffs. I want you to go ahead and unscrew them. And I want you to screw them on top of the ESC. Now you see when I do that, how this, there's a space here where the standoff can't quite get there. That is why we got that little bag of spacers with the ESC. So here's the bag of accessories that came with the ESC. And in that bag are these little spacers here. And they are gonna go right there. Yeah. Now, having installed those, I can screw down the standoffs and they'll go down straight.
Now at this point, your flight controller and your VTX are just going to be hanging loose. So don't worry about that. Just set them aside for now and we'll come back to that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the motors. So we're going to get one of the motors out of its box. These are accessories, just set that aside. For these screws we need a two and a half millimeter hex driver. And what I want you to see is that the screws that come with the motors are not long enough for the five millimeter bottom plate of the CL1 frame. So with the Rotorite kit we've included additional screws that are the correct length and you're going to use those instead of the screws that came with the motor. But don't throw these out. Save them. You might need them someday for some other build. As I'm working with the motors, I'm just going to go ahead and install the prop nuts that came with them on the shaft, just so I don't lose them. So the screws that we're going to be working with are 8 millimeter long cap head screws. And these ones here, that's called a cap head screw. And that screw is going to take a 2.5 millimeter hex driver. Um, at the time that I'm making this video, it's still a tiny bit up in the air what exact screws we are going to source. It is possible that in your kit from Rotorite, you will receive an eight millimeter button head screw. And if you get a screw that looks like this, this is a button head, you'll be using a two millimeter driver. When we install the motors, it's important that the wires be coming out the right direction. They wanna lay flat along the arm. So figure out how to mount the motor on the base, on the arm, so that they come out facing the right way. I'm just gonna get that first screw in and then I'm just going to start with two screws loosely inserted. And then once I've got those lined up, I'll do the remaining two. And once all four are in, we can go ahead and tighten that down. So now you've got one motor installed, you're going to repeat that process for the other three. And that's going to bring us to the end of this step of the build. Check the playlist down in the video description to go to the next step, or if you're lucky, it'll even autoplay for you. See you there.